A crew of three private citizens reached suborbital heights on board Virgin Galactic's VSS Unity spacecraft, marking the company's second commercial flight and its first carrying space tourists. The Galactic Zero Two mission launched on Thursday at 10.30 a.m. from Spaceport America in New Mexico. Virgin Galactic's spaceplane VSS Unity was released from the carrier EVE at an altitude of 44,300 feet and reached a maximum speed of Mach 3. Unity flew to a maximum altitude of 55 miles above the surface, which is a few miles shy of the internationally recognized boundary of space known as the Karman Line. The entire trip lasted for one hour before the spaceplane touched down. On board Galactic Zero Two were three private passengers, British former Olympian John Goodwin and Keisha Shahaf and Anastasia Mayers, the first mother-daughter duo to reach the edge of space. The latter secured their seats on the VSS Unity via the non-profit organization, Space for Humanity. Virgin Galactic rolled out its commercial program with the launch of Galactic Zero One on June 29, sending a three-person crew from the Italian Air Force and National Research Council of Italy to suborbital heights. Unlike Galactic Zero One, the follow-up mission did not include government customers, but instead private citizens. The company announced that it was open for suborbital business earlier in June following the success of a suborbital test flight that took place on May 25. The test flight was the first time in two years that Virgin Galactic's spaceplane reached the edge of Earth. Following the success of the first two missions, the company aims to launch a commercial crew monthly, concurrently developing its Delta-class spacecraft. These are engineered to embark on weekly flights starting from their anticipated 2026 debut. The company recently revealed that it doesn't anticipate a lot of revenue to come in from its commercial flights.